All right, we're live here, guys. We're Welcome, open. everyone, to another show. We got Swamp here first, saying hi to everybody. So, hey, Swamp. And uh, it's going to be another good show. Um, this one I labeled, I put a warning label on the on the front there. I don't know if you guys saw that. I saw it. I got, I'm like, whoa, is Harry coming on the show? <laughs> <laughs> Might not be suitable for children, but uh, we'll explain that pretty soon. So, anyways, how's it going, guys? Good. Yeah, good. You, uh, well, we started with Adam last week. We'll go with Chris this week. How well, was your week, Chris? Picking sales have been through the roof. I was telling Adam everything's good. Um, I went in uh, to that gentleman's storage lockers. Okay. Yeah. And I don't even know how to explain it. How good <laughs> it is. I'm going to show you some stuff tonight, guys. And I have access to all of it. I've grabbed some of it. I got to go back with my truck again. Camera girl one's already pissed at me because I've been bringing shit in and out. Uh, but I think it's going to move fast. Like he, this guy, what he was doing, he was buying good quality items at these auctions. Yeah. And I think he was just hoarding them and he was going to sell them one day. And unfortunately he doesn't have the time to do it. We've cut a sweet deal. I've already sold a few. I posted a video today, guys, if you want to see it, uh, about the trains I sold that him that he gave me uh but um scotty i'm gonna be busy for a long time with this guy's stuff <laughs> yeah that's, i'm gonna hey, i'm gonna still pick i'm still gonna go thrift stores i'm gonna still yeah. do other stuff but this is just gravy on top of gravy here so yeah double gravy <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah what about you adam how's your week going week was good i went to thrift store this week so so you got That's some stuff? Good. Yeah, I was supposed to go to the dentist while I went to the thrift store. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> well, there, there, there was a rumor that you were uh, at the antique booth. Uh, store, well, were, at the store. Well, yeah, I did it, yesterday, and I got something nice there, too. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I watched this video. I saw it. Oh, you got another video? Yeah. Yeah, yesterday I, I posted one. but Yeah. Okay. I, I, uh... I had in the video I'm going to show today because I don't have that much stuff. Okay, but but the good thing is everything I'm going to show today I got this week. All right, am I a little bit choppy? No, no, you're fine. Okay, I see a signal showing a weak signal. So, okay, no, uh, no, that's good. Um, I'm still showing stuff from that pick two or three weeks ago where that that lady. So, uh, I got lots of stuff to show, and uh, I won't have a shortage for a long time either. So. So that's good. Uh, I think sourcing, honestly, I think sourcing is probably the most important part of reselling. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to source. You have to be able to find that product at the mm -hmm. right price. So, mm -hmm. yeah. um, if you can find it at the right price, that's that's the key. Well, I, I, I ran into a guy, a buddy of mine that I know, and he he's got a good business, and he said to me, "I want to do what you do." And I'm like, "Going, you just can't learn overnight. It's not one right. of these things." Uh, he wanted to start doing um, drop shipping, and I went, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah. That's a different ball, a yeah. big game, man. That you really have to look at and know what you're doing." Um, and I said, "You got to start slow, learn the business, then work your way into maybe Amazon or Bonanza, like uh, well, Adam's Bonanza is eBay. It's eBay. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what I mean. I'm joking with you, <laughs> but um, you really need to know what you're doing." and have the eye you could train 10 people in a room starting today let them open an ebay store or an etsy store or whatever and in six months you may have one that's going to keep going that knows what they're doing or maybe well, if, if that from if then that. Yeah. yeah yeah well because sometimes i think people don't understand that the, there's there is work involved as well you know what i mean it's not oh, just i think it's easy it's not if, just if you want to start from like scratch Sell the stuff in your house. Don't even go buy stuff. Just sell the stuff you have in your house. Yeah. yeah. Start there. Yeah, that's how you yeah. learn. Um, the shipping process, all that stuff first before you go spending money and and investing more. So I I, I, I hope this is a sign of the times, or I, I, I'm i assuming, I guess it's part of Q4 getting close to Christmas, but the booth has been very, very busy. Oh, yeah. Was it busy when you got there, Adam? 
Yeah, people were in your booth storming it. There was people sitting on your chair and like talking about their stuff in there. That was there probably people. Johnny. That was probably no, just stealing stuff. <laughs> Other people, I think tourists. Yeah. Like you have yeah, this, there was, there you have this poster there. The, you have the royal poster there. Remember the royal poster. Yeah, the royal. I don't know. It's a museum. Or I don't know what's what it's for. But you have a poster for sale. Oh, there. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this yeah, one lady was like, "Oh, when I think of the royal, I think about this poster." So that's a good item. But yeah, she didn't that, buy it. That, that's the that's the one at the C and E, Chris. You know how okay. they have the the royal uh, yep. armor yep. thing or animal yep. thing. So I have a poster from I think it's from the nineties or I don't think it was the eighties. I forget, but it's it's framed and everything. It's sitting there. But it's been there for a little bit. Nobody's grabbed it, so yeah, there was some other have people it hidden. Admiring your the nudes book, you have a book about nudes from 1900s. Yeah, everybody awesome. admires that, though. Yeah, but everybody they were like all over that book, but they didn't <laughs> almost bought it. It was oh, good price, let's get it, but they put it back. Yeah, they put it back. But yeah, when I, I was like, just there for like a minute, then your booth was like buzzing. Yeah, no, it was it, yesterday was really good. Today was good too, but Scotty. Yeah, I want I want to comment on on, on the booth, and and I want you guys to really take a look at what's going on right now. We're in the fourth quarter. Go hit a Walmart. Go hit a Canadian Tire. Go hit somewhere where Christmas decorations, for example, because of the demand and supply issues, prices are quadrupled than oh, wow. normal for yeah. ornaments, lights, things like that. So people are turning to sites like amazon ebay etsy to try to get a better deal yeah okay it's happening right now and i think the closer you get to christmas and the better your inventory is and if your prices are fair you're going to do very well in the next four to six weeks going into I have, thanksgiving i don't know remember that rock in santa it was dressed as a cow like a cowboy hat and i showed it here on the thing yeah on the on the show yeah 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 i think i paid a dollar five bucks it definitely wasn't more than five at a yard sale so i put it for 35 dollars today in the booth this morning it sold within an hour yeah or it might have sold within two hours but steph said those people came here saw it went home and decided to come back to get it yeah like so it's kind of that what you're saying like people maybe and i never thought about that maybe they it, it's too it's very expensive in a walmart canadian tire or Maybe, maybe they just can't find stuff. I don't know. I haven't been out shopping, so yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what the situation is there. Yeah, they're, they're, you go you go into these places and there there's shortages everywhere. Really, I, yeah. I can't shop retail anymore. Once you start thrifting, yeah, I can't yeah. go shop retail. It's yeah. just insane. No, 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 no. I hear you. I hear you. But but prices are all over the roof, and you know, with our economy and everything going on, I think inventory levels are are are, are short. And people yeah. are scrambling to get stuff. Like, yeah, like that's you know point. those you know those wooden wooden um, ornaments you sold, Adam. Yeah. You, if you had a case of those, you could make a fortune this Christmas just selling yeah. them. And I and I kind of messed up on that sale, but it doesn't matter. I, I had yeah, I know, but yeah, but you know what I'm saying, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And yeah. just little things, some wooden, like who thought they will sell all day long. And yeah, they sold quick. Hot right now for me. Facebook Marketplace is hot. Christmas yeah. stuff is selling, man, every day. No. It's insane how much and I'm making. By Christmas stuff, you mean like Christmas decorations, Christmas theme stuff, not so much like gifts? Nativity sets. Yeah. Mr. Okay. Christmas. Yeah. Angel figurines. Uh, anything yeah. animated is as soon as you put it out, you get a message 10 minutes later. Is it available? Sure. Okay. I yeah. should do my stuff on Facebook then, maybe. I only have like three items that are like that. So. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you one today I, I bought at Value Village for 16 bucks. I just tested it today. I'm going to list it on Facebook. I'm going to ask for 100 This thing's amazing. And you can't find it anywhere. And it was funny. A lady just picked up a um, – remember the, the hockey rink, Adam, I showed? Yeah. She picked it up, and then she's a big Christmas fan. And she goes, what else do you have? So I started telling her what I had. And she's going to come back, probably buy another $150 worth of Christmas stuff, cash, wow. for me. She's, yeah. she, like, that's what she does. Good. So yeah. Christmas, well, you know man. what? People talk about a recession and stuff, and I don't know. Maybe the people in the U.S. could talk about it, but 
right here, I mean, there are so many jobs. Uh, like, people don't seem to have a shortage of cash right now. I don't know if you guys experience it the same uh, way, but... I Depending on what you're doing, Scotty, I think there's a lot of people struggling with it, with the mortgage rates, uh, with with the Bank of Canada raising their rates. Some people are struggling. Yeah. There's people that do have money. They will always have that. Yeah. hundred percent. Well, but, I just know, I just know there's a lot of there. There's what like good paying jobs. Like you might have to go get a, a ticket or go to school of some sort, but there's welding positions, mechanic positions. Oh yeah. There's factory positions. Like there, there's no shortage of jobs right now either. So I, I don't know. I'm a little confused. I don't know. It just everybody's talking about this big recession thing, and it just I, I don't I don't know if I'm seeing it yet. But well, I mean happening? we're a little bit we're a little bit behind compared to the U.S. and I think North America is a little bit behind in Europe. So Chop Chop's in the house here. Maybe he can speak. Or what maybe there's something coming down the road. I don't I don't know. But it it just it seems. It just, I, I just don't know if I'm seeing it yet, but I mean, definitely gas prices has gone up, right? More, more like the interest rates have gone up. So people are going to feel that for sure. I was at the dealer yesterday getting an air filter for my truck. I popped in to see my sales guy. I go, look, there's a lot of inventory. He goes, yeah, it's people not that ordered six, seven months ago. And wow. there's a price increase of six to $8,000 and they're not picking the truck. They're, they're giving them up. Wow. Um, because their price, because their payments are through the roof. Mm -hmm. So I said to him, uh, what am I going to do in May when, when I want to buy my new truck? He goes, Chris, wait a little bit. There'll be incentives. There'll be more. As soon as the inventory goes up, then yeah. the incentives kick in to right. blow them out. So, uh, but he okay. said the chip shortage is not like what it was. Everything coming in now is fine. Okay. So. Well, it'll be interesting to see how how it plays out, but uh, you know, I I I hope things prosper. I hope everything goes good. Obviously, so anyway, here we get to the here. So we got yeah, swamp in the house. Swamp is first. Chop chops here. Uh, Chris, now you can buy without the pressure. You have to buy, yeah, for sure, with your contact yeah. there. But there I still need a mix, though. I still need a mix there, uh, swamp. Well, you know what? Here's here's a question, Chris. Would you yeah. ever consider kind of taking that on? Obviously, you do your picking on the side, but outside of this guy, like, would you be interested in doing that for people as kind of like your thing? No, no. I, I'll tell you why. I I talked to a couple of other individuals, and they think they're going to give me twenty items, and they'll sell by next Friday. Yeah, they don't understand. They, they don't understand. It may take six to seven to 12 months. Right. So I said, here's your option. You can do it. This is what I'm going to give you after eBay fees, after it sells. Or you can pay, I'll pay you right now this much to buy it off your, yeah. buy it off. That's, your the, that's the best, best option. You just yeah. buy it off them. Yeah. Okay. No, the I just situation I have, I mean, the situation gotta, gotta... I have with this guy, it, it's a different. I've known it's him different. for a long time. Gotcha. Yeah, it's different, yeah. and he trusts me, and I've already paid him out cash. Like yeah. I've already hooked up with him for coffee, and you know he, he knows I'm not going to rip him off, right? Right. So, so, uh, so it's kind of like a one-off thing. It's not something like no. it's not something you'd be looking to do. Okay. Exactly what Adam said. They think you're going to be this super f seller. Yeah, you're going to get all this stuff for them, and you're going to make them all this money. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. Right. So when you tell him there's going to be a split in the profit, he goes to me, you know, I, this one guy said to me, he goes, why should I go to you when I can list it myself? I said, dude, go ahead. I remember you saying that. Yeah. Go ahead. List it yourself, man. Well, it's, it's like that. Did you watch Craigslist Hunter's last show? Oh, with the guy that comes. Yeah, yeah. I saw that guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. that guy. Like, dude, what you do know, you want? What do you want? <laughs> I do have to say though, I like I like the part where Craig, Craig, <laughs> repeat, Peace. Craig Lockhunter, uh broke down why twenty into forty doesn't make sense because that's a hundred percent. Yeah, you don't make any money. So I really like that. That was a good point. So. Yeah, you need your average selling price has to be at a certain point for you to yeah. make a profit on that platform. I've always said yeah. that. Right? Yeah. Well, I I I I really can't. I mean, unless it's like. 
like five, six, eight hundred dollars or something. But I, yeah. I really like to try to keep it down to a third. Like, but I, like the guy I have that I have this deal with, the stuff I got, like I'm going through it and I look it up and I look it up and and then I say to him, okay, so what do you got in it? So he tells me what he what he has in it, and I tell him, no, there's no profit here. Come get it. I don't want yeah. it. Like yeah. I'll bring it back to you. He goes. So then he goes, oh no no, let's just unload it. Whatever you can get, we'll split it. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean that type and, of deal. Yeah, and I mean the paperwork's right there. You can prove it, right? Oh, so, right, I showed him. I showed yeah. him exactly. It sold for this. Here's yeah. your 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 fees. This is what what it is after we, our our deal, and this is what you're going to get. I have it. Yeah. I put everything on paper. Yeah, no, that's and he cool. trusts me, right? Yeah, yeah. But Adam's right. Don't do it for everybody because they don't get it. <laughs> uh, uh, so Harry's here. Good to see Harry. Grouchy Fish is in the house. Good to see Grouchy Fish. Grouchy saying hi. Everyone saying hi, hi, hi. Hey, hello, Harry. Chug, What's chug. up, Harry? <laughs> Ah, Linda, good to see yeah, Linda's here. Little Johnny, Johnny was in the video. I saw Adam. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, sound? What's that mean? I don't know. I'm not sound. sure. Swamp. Not sure. I have a very nice selection of Christmas ornaments at Club Harry. Yeah, that was a nice freebie there. Oh yeah, I saw that. We were I was throwing them around though. though. <laughs> that was a good haul. Uh, and they are all priced to sell. Yeah, what's your eBay store? Advertise here. <laughs> Retail junk jobs are available, but real jobs that pay good money or are not. Okay. All right. Well, there's some there's good paying jobs going on right now, but I mean, if the recession does hit or car sales slow, or I mean, that's going to affect a lot of this area for sure. You're right, Harry. I have been looking. Van Gogh. <laughs> all right, Van Gogh. Mark, good day, all. Good to see you. Changed her up. Um, and saying hi to Van Gogh. So there's chop chop. And it's just just if I remember correctly, I think it's around two o'clock in the morning for Chop Chop. So all right. Who wants to go first? I think I think Adam went first last time. Let's you want to go Chris, first. You want to go first? Okay. Let me go grab something. We'll be right back. All right. Not so uh I didn't see your video. You just posted today? Yesterday. Huh? So I had a, a very nice Bonanza sale. Over $200. Oh, over $200 nice. Bonanza sale. So link and up. Bonanza, your Bonanza's kind of a freebie because you don't yeah, have to do link it. Up, you just, you just have to give permission to eBay. And I think you need to have PayPal because they don't have right. payment okay. to eBay. So. Yeah. That's pretty okay, good. So this is one of the... Um, you're going to see a few commission items today, but some... That's good. Uh, thrift store stuff. So this is the this is a good brand. This is Seal. They're uh, screws. Yeah. Um. Got twenty four of them from him, nice. and he's got very little money in this in this, so it, it doesn't really matter. And I think I'm going to be probably selling per box thirty nine to forty nine dollars Canadian. Turn it sideways, Chris. Just how, how thick is it? Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Factory sealed. Very right. very cool. And, and these will sell. I'm going to put them locally. And I'm going to put them on uh, eBay as well. And so you we said you had get, how many? Ten. I think there's two cases of twelve. Twenty four. Oh, twenty four. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, this guy bought cool. case lots, man. So, so you just put one up and then 24 quantity yep. and yep. let them run. Yep. Yep. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And the, this is a good brand if you look it up. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll and, take your word for it. I I don't know it, yeah. but uh, for sure. Yeah. I know it now. I Craig. Know it. Craig List Hunter. Well, <laughs> easy to remember. What? <laughs> what? Who are they talking about? It's Craig. Oh, Craig. Craig. Okay. The brand. Craig List oh. Hunter. Craig, oh, okay, just okay. like I remember oh, okay. the brand, okay. I have to okay. I hear you. associate I hear you. it with okay. something else, and that's that's how memory works. So it's easy. I never forget now. <laughs> Craig, uh, Chuck, oh. that's your uh, 0117 dark and misty. I I don't know where that's going, but uh, interesting. <laughs> I don't know what that'd be. Oh, dark and misty. So it's one. It's quarter oh, after one. Oh, p.m. 117. Oh, wow. 
Ooh, yeah. Dark and Misty. Okay. Working overtime. <laughs> Uh, thanks again, Scotty, for the beaver jar. It's banging. No banging. problem, Harry. Thanks for coming on to the shows and sharing us with your knowledge. And I know you appreciate the old glass and all that kind of stuff. So that's a little piece of Canadi Canadi Canadiana, Canadian, Canada, sent down to the U.S. So thanks, Harry. Glad you like it. And love the uh, the zombie. The zombie was awesome. All right, Adam, what do we got there, bud? Okay, so I showed this first. Uh, so this, I got, Chris inspired me to buy this. <laughs> because it's basically brand new in the box. And it's an electronic. Okay. So it's a shower CD radio. A CD in the shower. Yeah, and radio. And, really? And also has a CD alarm, so you can wake up to your CD. if You, you can put it by your bedside if you want. Or if you're to. sleeping in the shower, you can wake up. Oh, look at the MRSP. Two ninety nine. That's probably I don't know when it, there was no date like when you but I'm thinking like early two thousands. That's when CDs were hot, right? 90s. Is there a barcode on it? There is a barcode, but okay. actually no barcode. No, no barcode. But there is the price, and this was like fifteen bucks at Value Village. Yeah, I looked it up. So this one, whatever, I put it for seventy dollars online. Okay, I have it listed. But Sony CD shower radio make Sony made them too. Sealed okay. Sony 300 bucks. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, easy, easy, easy. 200, 300 for Sony. Yeah. So this one, man. But hey, <laughs> so if you find easy. a Sony, put it in your cart and run because <laughs> that's where the big money is. Sony CD shower radio. Nice. And that, that was inspired by Chris. Well, because it's still in the box. I'm like, yeah. Chris would get this for sure. I would have bought it for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I did have to look it up because I'm like, ah, finer things. What brand is this? But they're like, yeah, it's like brand new. It's like it's never used. But it's All right. crazy because it says it takes batteries because you need to have batteries to play it, right? And it comes with the AC adapter. But then it says like a small fine print. Oh, don't use the AC adapter in the shower. So I no, don't know I mean, no, how many that's... people will read that fine print, man. Like, that's kind of risky. How many people plugged it in in the shower? Yeah. <laughs> but who has six C cell batteries? Nobody has that at that No. Oh. <laughs> and there's already okay. adapters right there. So why don't you just plug it in? All right, Chris. I need you to do a favor and bring something up for me. What? What do you want me to look up? This is the final word. What the hell's oh. that, Scotty? Where did you find that? This was at that house. I thought it was like a recorder that you put okay. in, like a recorder. All there is is a button on the side, so I just threw it in the thing. So basically, it was just a toss in, right? Like, so you you tell me when you got the price there, Chris, and I'll tell you what this thing does. What is it? A game? Well, yeah. hold on. It's the whole reason the show has got the warning sign. Let's put that there. So after oh. you, we go, I have some, I have also something similar. Oh, you all, know it, all it has, it just has one button on the side. There's I, no, I have seen this before. All right. I haven't bought it. Wow. So, hold so on. ear, ear, earmuffs, earmuffs. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let okay. Me just, let me do, let me do this. Earmuff oh, the kids, get the, get, move the kids out of the room. Make sure Johnny's not there. Do you have the box? Know. Do you have the box? Yes. What, what's that? Have the no. box. No, Johnny's, no Johnny's yeah. eating. Go food. ahead. Fuck you. You're an asshole. <laughs> Fucking jerk. Eat shit. Fuck you. You're an asshole. <laughs> Fucking jerk. Eat shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> so, anyways, there's the last word. So, you can bring the kids back into the room. <laughs> camera, girl, girl, the camera girl. girl. Scotty, camera girl is killing herself laughing. <laughs> so. When you show me this before the show, I had something in my drawer for like three years, right? Yeah. And this is the back. So it looks like a business card. Yeah. But it has something similar to what you're showing because look at what it says. Well, let me let me blow that up here. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, there you go. You can so leave that on somebody's windshield wiper when they park like double or something. Right, right. <laughs> and another one I found, I had this for like years just sitting in my drawer. Never Just doubt saying. your sincerity. Wow. 
they're like just funny sayings, right? Like yeah. com comedy. But Scotty, something similar are, to oh, check on that link I sent you. Yeah, there you go. So these are yeah, hundred bucks. The box. Wow. So let's go down. There's three on. Look at you're looking at a hundred. Hundred bucks. Wow. The keychain one. There's one for sixty six. So. So you're looking. You know you're gonna make money. Oh right? yeah. Ah, it's sixty-five to hundred bucks. I mean, I yeah. put it up for hundred bucks. Yeah, put it for hundred. Yeah. But anyways, that was that was the warning sign I had to put up there. Very cool. <laughs> uh, will you test the CD player before you sell it, Adam? In the shot in the shower, Adam. Not in the shower. I probably I should test it. I always test my CD players, even the portable ones. I, this one I already listed, and I did not test it because it's new in the box. But it only takes like two minutes. To put a CD through, yeah. So I will before I ship it if it sells. Because then it doesn't okay. work. I can cancel the order and say, "Hey, something broke." So Harry kicked the dog off the couch. So dogs. <laughs> that's the story. Uh, we have one of those at work. We used to play it on the internet. On no way. <laughs> Fun work. Uh, sounds like a Canadian hockey game. Oh wow, yeah, it does. Hey, Chris. <laughs> Uh, love that thing. Uh, whoop. There we go. Sounds like wife when I would. Oh wow, nice chop chop. You don't do the dishes, eh? <laughs> so I I don't know. It was it was thrown in there, so it's a free. It's just I mean there was so much that was come out of that house for such little money. So I have a farting uh, version. I put it on the flea market table and set it off when I'm <laughs> nice. So that's like a gravy of a gravy too. Yeah. For you. Yeah, yeah. The gravy on the gravy for yeah. sure. For sure. Uh all right, Chris's turn. I'm just trying to think. Should I hold this one back? But I you know, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna show up because Adam's gonna start drooling when I show this one. <laughs> okay. I was drooling at the bows. Wait, wait. Oh, I sold it, eh? Yeah, yeah, nice. Oh, four hundred, no grainers. That's four hundred. It's gone. It's gone. Nice. So, back to the consignment guy. I have six of these sealed, brand new in the box. Six. When Adam sees this, he's he's gonna leave. He's gonna he's gonna go to sleep. I'm telling uh, you. I'm happy. I'm a buggy, Adam. <laughs> Look, Adam. Oh, hang on. Oh yeah. Wow, nice. It's three hundred bucks each. Oh, okay. Yeah, M one o one one. Yeah, I recognize it. I got six in the box. Now you can add the market because <laughs> I have two listed no. and I still have them listed. Nobody bought them, but I, 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 I'm okay. not. I'm going to do them one by one, and I'm going to do them local too. This is the one that does the metal punching, right? You know, yeah, metal, one. metal yeah. tape. It's great. They're yeah. expensive. Three hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, one guy's on there right now at eight fifty. Eight fifty. Eight fifty Canadian. Wow. Um, I'm thinking because the condition it's in, it's yeah. brand new. Because you have the I, the cardboard thingy or the wrapper. I don't have that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I think I'm going to go 525. Nice. And there's how many? I got six. That's from the consignment guy? Yep. Nice. Cool. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. So when I saw these, my eyes went. When I bought them at the yard sale, I didn't know the value. When I when I looked, when I walked away, I'm like, run! <laughs> yeah, so should do okay on these. Yeah, that's nice. Big yeah. money item. Big money. Yeah. Oh, times six. That's how three thousand dollars right there. You got it. Kaching. Uh, the crazy cards here. Good to see Mike in the house. What's up, guys? Just finished checking the results on an online auction. I got two items. Nice. Got your two items. Congratulations. <laughs> very, very nice. Yeah. I was I wanted to buy something at the auction this week, but just there was nothing for me at the online auctions. Well, we knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. Uh, <laughs> Joe is fake. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Justin, 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 Justin Time Flipping. Well, somebody's got to say it. Carl doesn't well, he has the goofy face. Today. So he, he's not like, hey, fake show. <laughs> no, I don't, Carl or Tommy's not in, not yet. Anyways, oh man, that's funny. somebody's got to. Uh, how you been? They're saying hi to each other. 
Uh, what do you got there, Adam? On me? Or you? Is it me? Is Yeah, Chris. You All right. Then... So, Johnny doesn't know I have it here. <laughs> he wouldn't let me bring it, but check this out. Do you know this brand? Uh, Bruder Trucks? I know because of you. Yeah, I know it's, you. It's a way better brand than Tonka Trucks, I tell you. Yeah. Yeah, like I got one new for Johnny garbage truck last Christmas. I had to pay hundred eighty dollars for a new one. So this was at the Value Village, and uh, just the tow truck was alone like this, five dollars, four ninety nine, and wow. their Tonka trucks were twelve ninety nine. Used Tonka fire truck that's worth like nothing. So and I knew that this one has the Jeep because from the toys he has. So the Jeep was also on the shelf there for $1.99. So I got them both. And I could flip it for about $60 because it's used. It's about 60 bucks plus shipping. But yeah, this one stays in his toy room. <laughs> and, and I think I already have like six or seven brooder trucks that I got at Value Village that Johnny keeps. Nice. So I love finding these toys. They're German toys. You can buy them at Walmart or like, you uh, know, Penny and Tire. You can buy them like more like a specialty toys uh, stores, like okay. Mastermind might have some, but very good quality. Uh, they make it very re realistic toys, and they also use recycled plastic, and it's very sturdy. And so it's like, German-made, and it's German. made in it's China, brutal. but it's like German uh, company makes them. Okay. Yeah, I don't, you know what? I don't know anything about that brand. That's good. That uh, you brother, brother, that brother, yeah. I'll look for it. Yeah. Look on YouTube. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know YouTube. either until... Adam told me they, they make cool like uh, stop motion videos about like playing with these toys. Like it's pretty cool. Like yeah, that's uh, the Value Village guys. They didn't know about it. Like they were pricing Tonka trucks more than this. So score, score for Johnny. All right, so good find there, Adam. Uh, Justin, good to see you here. Uh, Mike, uh, where are you at now? I'm north in Florida, north or in Florida, up north or in Florida. So Mike's north, um, but he's heading to Florida. Wills look quality. They are they're, they're very good quality and and pricey. We if you want to buy them new. All right. So this is again the lady's house. Her husband was a firefighter. He, he he retired as a chief, so he was a chief, a deputy chief, all that. Went all through the rankings and stuff. So in this box, this is all part of that deal where all these patches. So there's just bags of patches. And all Those the... Self yeah, and I forget what you call these for the shoulder. It's I, I looked it up, but there was more patches here. Scarborough oh, wow. and Toronto firefighter patches. That's Scarborough. There is Toronto ones too, though. You can do, do very well with those. Then there's a whole bunch of buttons from uniforms. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Different types of buttons, different sizes. Some are, whoop, some are pins, so... There's a bag here. Then there's badges. Collectibles. Yeah, like it's just a whole bunch of them. Here's another badge. Scarborough. I think it's a, you can sell them quick. I sold some fire, um, a fire like fire department hats, like, like trucker hats, and they sold quick. Yeah. Here, here's a couple. These are straps, like probably for the shoulders here. They pin, mm -hmm. but there's two different. One's here, one's silver, one's gold, and there's like a, like a, almost like a gold, silver, bronze. I don't know what these are. If anyone knows, I haven't looked them up yet. So, but it, it's almost German on the back. Wow. Google lens. Yeah, I'll have to take a look at it. Uh, here's another badge. I don't know if that's upside down or what, but I'll check that out. And then there's another wooden box, and it's got more pins and stuff inside there. Wow. 
Man, you you could like, hear it that big, <laughs> dude. There's just so much. Like, there's so much stuff. Like, it was crazy. And she almost gave us a uniform, but the son or the grandson ended up deciding he did want it because he didn't want it at one point. Mm. So, anyway, but yeah, there's just so many of these things here, so many patches and and stuff. So, and. Right. There was a bunch of keys. Now there's another one of these somewhere, and oh, I can't wow. find it. Oh, dude! I That's know. Amazing. So you got a lot of skeleton keys on there. Yeah, there's another set of skeleton keys like this. <clears throat> but I know Craigless Hunter had some firefighter skeleton keys things. He made but I, a great I money. I have to look them up. I don't. I don't really know. Yeah, you need to cool. Google lens every single one. Yeah. Wow. But I had a, I had two. I don't know where the other one. I hope I didn't leave it there because I can't find it. But there was two with these skeleton keys on it, <clears throat> and then there was then there was these two with just little old keys on it. Um, but I have to. I'll, I'll look them all up. But like the old keys ones, like the regular keys, I, I would load them together. I sold keys like that before. Yeah, this is a lot. But the skeleton yeah. ones individually for sure. Patches individually for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And but the fire, I think the fire, the old firefighter keys, if and I'm assuming that's what the, they the firefighter key them. was for the box, the fire box. Yeah, the which which yeah. I'm pretty sure that one could be. Could be. And then there there was other ones too in here, the smaller ones. Yeah, but, the logos and stuff what it says on them for sure. But I'll have to I'll have to look them up, but they were all part of that group as well. So that's nice. I like that. I like that find, man. I like yeah, it a lot. I mean, that's where, I got, that's where I got this from. There was like, dude, it was just, it was mm -hmm. crazy. It was crazy. And she just, she just wants to get rid of it all. Like it just, it was like even her, her daughter, and they were just thanking us for helping her out. So, wow. Good yeah. for you. Uh, so... <clears throat> So wheels look quality. We said that one. Uh, less them in singles, max. Uh, the, patches. the patches. Out. Nice lot. Thanks, Justin. Um, what's that? Applets? Oh, is that yeah, the ones you showed the metal done? pieces that you didn't know what they were? Okay. Okay. Cool. Now I can look that up. Price the keys and lots. They will sell better. Cool. Thank you, Justin. Um, when lotting junk keys together, put steampunk in the title. Ah, interesting. Yep. That makes sense. Um, these other ones though, the skeleton ones, I, I'm, you know, some of these can have like 20, I think even into the hundreds, right? Yeah. For for sure. Sure. Oh, for sure. Relating. So you have a nice lead already. You, yeah. It's, yeah. It's not just any well, skeleton key is firefighting related. So that, yeah. So that, you know, I'll, I'll have to do a show on that or something sometime. But, I mean, I'm just swamped right now. So, um, but, yeah, so that was pretty good. Um, who's going? Is it Chris's? Yeah, I am. Just give me one sec here. Um, I don't know if I can find this. If not, I'm going to move on to something else. Let's see if I can one. What do we, how would we show two each so far? I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, because I got three left here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, just give me two seconds, guys. Don't mean to hold up the show. Uh, You're holding up the show. Uh, <laughs> well, no, uh, I'm not. When you see this, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, so the crazy cards here. Are enjoying the time. Take your time. Okay. Uh, Mike's so. saying that he's researched some of those skeleton keys before. Some do really well. There you go. All yeah. right. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I may show this after. Let's just go back. So, so back and, and keep bringing a consignment because I'm just excited about the stuff I got. So yeah, he had sure. one storage unit full of these different, different makes, different models. So this one here is a seven inch. I don't know how many Watts, all the hardware. Let me pull it out. And I, I got to go back and get them all. So, four by four, mm. 
full light bars for the front, the back. He's got the little one, fog lights. He's got there's so many. Oh, are and those for photography or filming? No, Car. this is for your truck. Oh, that okay. So, so right. guys would post this on the Honda Civic. Civic. <laughs> yeah, this is for off roading. Oh, are, okay. Yeah, these He's are LEDs. Bar, so that's what I was. Okay. Oh, I got the bars too. Okay, I see. I got saying. the yep. curved bars. I got the back yep. bars. I got everything. Yep. This is this is a project and a half for me because I have no idea. Like I looked up these ones today here, and they sell on Amazon. Um, this set with all the hardware sells for uh, 140 bucks. So I've got 10 of these right now. Wow. Then I have the little ones that go in the fog lights. Then I have the light bars. I got to go back and grab them all. It's just, it's just, I'm overwhelmed with all the stuff that he had. These are all brand new. Yeah. You, so, you're overwhelmed. Imagine how he feels with what? He's got two storage lockers or something? Four. Four. Oh, wow. So <laughs> he's got restaurant equipment. Yeah. Um, the one thing I wanted to show you, and I'm trying to find it, and I think this is the one he has here. Uh, I have this as well. I'm going to share this with you, Scotty, for a second. What if he just like offered him 20 grand for all the, no, all the stuff? He no, he wants to make, he's not stupid. He wants to make money, right? Um, This is the other thing here. I couldn't bring it in. It's so heavy. Like, there's no way I could carry it. Uh, that's not it. That's it right there. So you see that? So I have this here brand new in the box. <clears throat> and it's a wench for... A, this is a wench for like a okay. big truck. Oh, cool. Yeah. And... Um, new in the box, you said? Brand new. It's in the... Everything's in there. So I think I'm going to go local on this. And sell it to some guy that's a tow tow truck driver or something. Right. Or a guy that's got a 3500 a, a dually, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's it what's that weight? What what's the weight? It's he it's heavy. It's heavy, man. Like can you lift it and carry it or uh you need two guys. Yeah, okay. It, it, it's big. So Yeah. But these light bars, I think Selling them locally to the Jeep guys. Like, I belong to a couple of uh, off-road uh, Facebook groups. I think I'm going to start listing them on there, and people come pay me cash for them. Yeah. These guys are looking for them. They knock them off. They break them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, so they, they, this, like, yeah. I, I, when I went there, I, I just stood there. I, I was like, what? Like, you've been storing this stuff for how many years? So... Yeah, no, nice. So it's a little honey hole, right? For sure. Mother's mustache saying hi. How's it going? Good to see you here. Yeah, hello, Go hello. Saying hi. Oh, Marie's here. Hey, Marie, good to see you. Hi, Marie. Uh, research is key. Hi, Marie. Marie, everybody's saying hi to everybody. All right. Your turn, Adam. What you got? Oh, what else? A camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, thrift store. Everything was from the thrift. I, no, I want, the last item is going to be from the antique market. Okay. The, the antique glass piece. Uh, Nikon camera. It doesn't. It says Nikon mat, but it's an actual Nikon camera with a Nikon lens, which is a bonus. Sometimes this... You find these Nikon cameras and they would have aftermarket lenses on them, which is still okay, but Nikon lenses are Nikon lenses, so they're much better than aftermarket lenses. On the back, it says Nikon. So now you look at this camera in the thrift, oh, how would I look this up, right? Because no model number, just Nikon. Nikon Mart. Nikon Mart on the front, but if you look on the top plate, you can see... Model. Yeah. yeah, it says FT3. That's your mm -hmm. model number. And the mm -hmm. number after it, that's the serial number. So that's a FT3 Nikon. Nikon FT3. Very nice body. Great camera for students. Also good for uh, professionals. So that was like... Can you check the light meter? Is it working? 
It works, yeah. I, I, yeah. I didn't check at the thrift store because there was no batteries in the camera, but when I got home, I checked it. But yeah. even the lens was worth whatever yeah. I paid for it, so... And it oh, was 50, for sure. 50 at the thrift with the I had ten dollars off, so I paid forty yeah, no. for this one. It's a good find. I love selling those cameras. And even the guy at the the showcase that was showing me this, right? Because I have to call somebody up to to look at it. He goes, "Oh yeah, I was looking at this camera. I was gonna get it, but it's film." <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, those young guys they think it's everything is digital like yeah, no yeah, shit, yeah, dude, yeah. this is film yeah yeah <laughs> yeah for me i take it yeah. <laughs> oh nice oh nice i was happy to find that i love finding oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you were it's very cheap on my etsy stuff i think I, I should raise the price so but i leave it at the price it is right now i have it listed for or I don't know how did something dollar, but with the sale I have right now, it's hundred fourteen dollars or something right now. That, is that a sales pitch to the people watching? Sure, no, but I'm just I saying think, I, I, I wouldn't really make so much money. More, I pay, but I'll I'll I leave it. Forty, I probably make fifty bucks if I sell this now. Uh, so you're not the wrong with fifty bucks. Yeah, fifty bucks is fifty bucks. Yeah, exactly. It is fifty bucks is fifty bucks. I agree, Adam. <laughs> All day long. Uh, it's better if it's, if it's like the vintage fifty bucks. The, yeah, show it, show it. it unless it's this fifty bucks, yeah, that's, that's got the bills. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then that's more than fifty bucks. <laughs> but uh, what, what? Um, that winch would be good on a flatbed trailer. That's what it's for. And and yeah. and may, maybe a garage would buy it, Chris. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I I I said to him. I'm going to put it on Facebook Marketplace because I'm not shipping that mother. It's too heavy. Yeah, yeah. And and if anybody buys it, they're going to go right to your unit. I'll meet them there, and I'll collect the money. We'll do what we have to do. The only problem with the box is it's got some water damage. I said, doesn't who cares? As long as it's fine yeah. inside, you're good. Yeah, as long as it's fine inside, for sure. Yeah. For sure. All right. Well, I'm going to stick with the small, really light stuff. I got this little mouth harp. What is it? Uh, it's called a mouth harp. Okay, it's mouth an instrument. Harp. Yep, you play it. Play yep. it, Scotty. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm not putting it in my mouth. Come on, put it in. Play it. It's made it. No, I'm not. I don't know how to play it. <laughs> but it's in good shape, and uh, a lot of them are around thirty dollars, and then they start getting higher. This one's a little fancier, so this is about sixty-five to eighty-five bucks. Oh, cool! I would and never know. One, knows differently but that's that's my research yeah oh yeah and this, sure. came, this, this came out of the fireman's house wow yeah yeah just just keeps on giving like little little mouth things. Love it. Harp. i want to mouth, I mouth harp. um so some are jewish harps too they i i think yeah. they just a quick research showed that but uh for, for well, selling i need to go on youtube and, and see how it sounds i want to listen how it sounds yeah, that's a good idea. I, I mm -hmm. should, I'll do that too. But uh, it's in very good con uh, condition. Made in England. I don't know if you can see it or not, but one oh, cool. of the sides have it here. No, I but can't see I it. I don't know. But I, just take my word for it. It's made in England. I mean, it's no big deal where it's made at that point, but England would be a good brand. And it's, it's better than China. <laughs> yeah, no, Eng England, it's USA, weird. Canada, Germany. Those are, those are good. Yeah, Italy. Italy. But uh, uh, I don't know. Thanks to Crazy Card. I'm not sure who you're saying that to. But, uh, somebody's got an echo that's going on there. Uh, Justin, does better mean faster or sell for more money? Which did what did Justin say? That must have been a while ago. Anyway, so that's that's. Kind of a boring find, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's different. I would. I never seen one like that. Fifty bucks is fifty bucks. Sixty bucks is sixty bucks. There it is. <laughs> Hold on. Um. So, Chris, I guess it's your turn. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. For it's tiny, time. easy to ship. So. Oh yeah. Super padded envelope. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know. Well, it's got, the, it's got the little. Yeah. It's got the little piece of sticks. Yeah. Out, small box. Small box. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Share that, Scotty. Is it appropriate? I don't know what I'm sharing. Well, well, Adam no, wanted no. to hear it. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, I'm gonna keep it now. That's cool. Oh, I'm buying it from Scott. Uh, my teeth hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so, other than being the gnarliest skateboarder ever. So there, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> All right, there we go. I was like, okay. electric. I'm not gonna play the whole video, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it my yeah. turn? Uh, it is. Thanks for sharing okay. that, Chris. That's that's cool. Yeah, I thought that was funny. It wasn't a a good one, but whatever. So uh, yeah, oh, no, that was good. That's on here. Um, uh, so what I did, like, you know what? The other day, I'm going to show you something. Oh, it's a little bit different for me. The other day, I couldn't find anything in the thrift store, so I started going and walking around, and and um, actually, let me grab the other two. They're over here. So I think that means they will sell better. They will sell faster because. The whole lot will go in one bang. Yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do definitely re research them a little bit and see see what more I can find on them for sure. So, so there was like six bags of, and I don't buy this, but I I, I couldn't turn it down. Um, because I looked them up, makeup. So I got like. Mm. All oh, these. Hey, hey. oh, hang on, hang on. Did, is this from your connection or is this? No, 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 no. This is thrift store. Thrift store. Okay, okay, okay. So I think the bag. So I got twelve of these, different mm -hmm. colors. Each one sells for about <laughs> I don't know, nineteen bucks, twenty bucks. And then I got thirty-five of these. So this is well, that's French. We don't want the French side. Hold on. I anti age gel. Okay. Each one of these sells for twenty four dollars. Wow. On eBay, Can and they're brand new. Hermeo. No. <laughs> I'll sell them with full tracking. No, but Hermeo do have to go ground because there's gel. I don't know. I'm asking. No, I'm just selling. Them. I don't know. I just put them on packs of three or four. So. Yeah. Well, cosmetics, cosmetics can sell them for sure. Yeah, I haven't really done much in that department, that category. Yeah, a lot of the YouTubers seem to do very well with it. I think Lonnie does pretty good like with that. Perfumes, I stay away from because I know you cannot ship them. Even I don't know, maybe ground you can, but how do you ship ground? Like Canada Post doesn't have that. No, I've I've never had a problem. Like I looked it up, it's fine, right? I think it would be fine. You put it in the envelope, goes. Yeah, we'll see what um, happens. There you go, Scott. Good way to chip your teeth up. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But you can make it like a viral YouTube video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's do uh, that. Mouth harp. <laughs> that should be the intro to your every video. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy. Uh, I came into the stream and scrolled up in the chat. My response was delayed. Great find, guys. Oh, no, that's cool. That's fine. All good. All good. Yeah, well, it's all good. We're just uh, just wasn't sure what what he had said, but I get it now. You can say whatever, whenever it's all good. Um, we'll figure it out eventually. Oh my God, there he is! Thrift Beast is in the house finally. Wow. I haven't seen this guy forever. Thanks Thrift for being here, Chris. Chris, good Chris, Chris, Chris is from there. Thrift Beast, my buddy. Nice. Wow. Well, it's good to see you, bud. I hope all is well. You need to rewatch this show, Chris, when you get a minute. <laughs> you missed a lot. And I know he would appreciate it because I know him. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, health and beauty pays well. I sold freaking wrinkle cream for like three years on a single $2 purchase. Nice. Oh, yeah, for sure. Wow. It's a big business. It sells, man. Yeah, I think uh, like uh, sh uh, Shed Flips, they do pretty good with that kind of stuff. I it was one of those days where I wasn't pick, like, I just go, I'll go over here and check the bags out. And then you start scanning. You're going 30, 30, 20. Like, Whoa, hold on here. What's going on? Uh, so Chris is going to watch. He's going to come back and watch. Yeah. Stay yeah. live now, but watch later. Yeah. yeah. You'll like it. You'll like it, Chris. Uh, three years is freaking eternity <laughs> to me. Oh, Man. yeah, but it's just, the last three years went by very fast. Yep. For some reason. The last three years, the last ten years went like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. Never mind the three. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, for sure. Uh so Adam, Adam's turn. 
My turn, okay. <coughs> yeah. So, like five five years ago, <laughs> I used to only do mostly do the clothing. Actually, I did hard goods, but I did lots of clothing uh, picks from thrift stores because it was cheaper back then. Now it's more expensive. But this is one of those clothing items that I learned back when I did clothing. So very good brand. So it's a nice jacket. I don't know, it's like a hiking jacket, it's like a casual jacket. Yeah. Right? No, no crazy color way on it, but the brand is the best brand you can find. Cool, uh, made for the mountains, and it's a hiking brand. That's the logo. They all put this logo on all, all their clothing. Okay. Um, so this one, this brand on eBay has over 100% sell-through rate. So what wow. that means, so let's say there's 100 items listed of this brand and 150 items sold. So it sells nonstop. Like if I list this, It'll it's going to sell within a week. It sells very well. So it's, it's a quick seller and it uh, brings lots of money. So I can get upwards of $100 for this jacket. And usually if I find these, this brand in my size, I always keep it for myself. So I have few items I found at Rift that I keep, but this is not my size. So this one's going to go for sale. So very good brand. And I I sold shorts, t-shirts and sweaters, uh, button-up shirts and jeans from this brand. So they make all kinds of clothing. And it all sells very, like shorts go for like $40. Well, the double XL should be a good. That's a good size. Yeah, too. XL is a good size. A very good size. Yeah, yeah, very good size. I can even get more money because of the bigger size. Yeah, right. very good. So I paid like thirty. It was thirty dollars at the thrift store. I think I might have had a coupon that day too. Oh yeah, uh, cool is an awesome exactly. name. Only Same here. If it fits, I come keeping it too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Thrift Beast Chris saying hi. Oh man, Jinx Adam. <laughs> <laughs> you guys said the same thing, right? It's true because it's such a good quality, like, um, it just fits so well if it's your size. It's very, very well made uh, brand products. All right, well, this is out of the fireman's house, and this will definitely go in the oh, boot. Yeah. But this was in the garage. An original fireman axe. Uh what year is that? Uh I don't know. I didn't it's it's covered in cobwebs. It was in the garage. So wooden handle that, like wooden a, or fiberglass? It's fiberglass handle. Well, it's newer. Okay. It's newer. Yeah. But yeah, I yeah, still nice. think I get a hundred bucks. What's the brand on it? Does there some lettering on it when you hold your hand? Oh, you're gonna make me read now, are you? Oh, just show to the camera. I read it for you. Hold it up, we'll see it. It's big where, where letters. You should read that on the on side, the yellow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fire hooks unlimited. Hmm. Look it up, Adam. See, see what it's worth. I mean, it it it's just it was a bulk buy. It was a lumped in, right? So. I mean, I got some wood in your tool. backyard with it. What's that? Take it in the backyard. Chop some wood. <laughs> Yeah, but it's pretty big. Like it's nice. I like it. I keep it for myself. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like the I like the back of it. You see that little hook there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's not a normal axe. No, no, for sure. It's nothing yeah. that I don't. I don't that's the lift manhole covers up. Hmm. <laughs> Did, uh, are you looking at that brand up? Adam? Yeah. Well, their Google reviews are very bad, <laughs> but nothing on eBay that I can see. Well, I, I, I did, I did note that some people just sell this part too. So maybe that's for shipping reasons. But yeah. I don't care. It's going in the booth. So there's no oh, price. Yeah. Somebody's gonna buy you have to be a business to buy from them. Oh, okay. So that makes sense with the fire department, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a fire axe, that's what it's called. Oh, there it is. Fire hooks, uh, six pound. There is an eight pound. So six pounds, 75 bucks. Eight pounds, $130. Yeah, it's probably There's eight. For... It, it is yeah. heavy. Yeah, so $135 brand new. Yeah, so 85 bucks. Mm. Very cool. 
Uh, it might be actually 135 US. Okay. Well, then 100 bucks in the booth. Yeah. Somebody will buy it. Somebody will buy it just for for decor. Like they're Body. not gonna use it. A fire fire will buy it. They walk through and go, oh, I want that for my house. Yeah, uh, yeah. A farmer will buy it to chop some wood. <laughs> that that would that would probably be pretty tiring to swing that to chop wood. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's more it's for breaking windows and yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, so everyone's talking in the chats, and it is Chris's turn. How many do we have left? Uh. One, two, or one? You tell I me. One more because oh, one, one each. One, one okay. each. Yeah. So uh, let's go back to uh, this. Is a big thing. It's going to. I got to lift it up. Um, consignment. I got three of these. They're brand new in the box. Let me grab it. It's very cool. Well, this is for you too, Chris. So Mike saying he only needs an axe and a couple of light bars for the Jeep. Well. <laughs> Tell Mike to come to my house. Who won Mike? Which who is it? The crazy card. Okay, you but, know what I'll do, Mike? Let me look no, at he, what he, I have. Is he joking saying, or what? Yeah. He's oh, okay. okay. Getting, if he wants already, it, come on over. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. already got he's already got them. I cut him a deal. Okay, so this is this is really heavy. I got so I've got I think four of these in in because they're four in a box. Let me kind of it's fucking heavy as hell. So can you see that? HIK Vision. Yeah. Professional DS9000 series. That has a one hard drive in it already, two terabyte. And it's got yeah. eight ports. This is for um, a professional, like for a, a business where they have eight cameras. Uh, I've got them on for $1,500. They uh, they sell for around that price. There's one right now on eBay, I think, for about nineteen hundred. Um, we just lowered the price a little bit to try to move them. The problem is the weight. Move them it is heavy as one. hell. So is this is this is from the buddy again. Consignment, yeah. What did you okay. ask me, Adam? How many I have? Yeah, four. Oh wow! <laughs> and I have another another one too that's in the box. It's a different brand. But this brand here, it's got the the mouse, the keyboard, it's got everything. Wow. Now, am I going to sell these guys? I don't know. They're 1080p, still they're HD, they're Linux. So I said to my my buddy there, I go, look, you know, let's try to get the most we can, and then slowly lower it a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, and they'll eventually sell. So. Um, it's good. It's good stuff. It's it's brand new stuff too. I can't turn it down, right? So, uh, well, I mean, you're just listing it like you have nothing invested. So if it sells, bonus. If it doesn't, yeah, you you, you lost nothing. I lost it, and this I got nothing in it. So uh, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, that that I was excited about when I saw those in the unit. I said, put them in the car, put them in the truck, fill the truck up. <laughs> You can't, you can't not not take them. Oh, I'm not sure where Tommy and Tracy are. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, it's a uh, show not for kids, so it's all good. Yeah, yeah. We put the warning <laughs> sign up, so uh, you should see what the FedEx or UPS would ship for that. Or yeah, yeah, I agree, Chris. I, I've already done that. Cheaper. I think more local uh, is going to be the guy that's going to buy these. If it goes like to Toronto or like, then it doesn't cost that much to ship. No, no, no. Local like Hamilton, Burlington, yeah, like thirty dollars, and, and yeah. you're good. Yeah, I'm fine with it. So uh, we'll see what happens. So that's my last one. To Georgia, then it's a different story. Yeah, it's different. It's not going there. <laughs> it's not going there. Uh, electronics are not famous for their shelf life unless they are super high quality and. Now vintage. Mm, good point. <laughs> Some the, the the even electronics with the computers inside, like they get outdated so quickly. I'm here just enjoying oh, the stage. Gosh. Joe. Stage. <laughs> oh, take a good seat, yeah. comfortable, get comfortable. And... He's been sitting in the background for the past hour laughing at us. <laughs> That's what he's been doing. That's Tommy. 
Hey, well, Tommy, good to see you. I'm gonna show, I, I staged the tag. I had to handwritten the, the price tag on. <laughs> uh, it doesn't retract out of the StreamYard chat. Not sure. So they're talking back and forth. I'd rather put all the electronics in a bonfire. Hey, Glenn. That's Tommy. Okay. Yeah, but Chris, you know your electronics, right? Like you've been oh, dealing yeah. with electronics oh, for yeah, a while. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I know what sells, what doesn't sell. Yeah. So you learn, but more. but you don't have nothing invested. You're selling it for a friend times four, which is you know. Yeah, no like rest. he's got there's money no into rest. them. We like I told you earlier, if yeah, it yeah. costs him X amount, that gets taken out after we sell it. Yeah, and then it's your money, so it's all good. <laughs> it's not my money. I didn't put. Look, I'm in the driver's seat here. He doesn't watch my channel. He he doesn't even care. But the thing is, I'm helping him out. For sure. You he's know trying to get rid of this crap. You are, you Four are. storage units, you know what's that cost him a month? He, he's been hoarding this for years. Yeah. 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 So he's he's had enough. He Like, he wanted to get into reselling, and he started on Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji. He lasted a month, and he went, I can't do this. Yeah, not yeah, too many not for him. Would, would take that consignment deal, like, you can give him, make him a good favor, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I am. And he's happy with it. And All the right. crazy thing is, he needs to get those uh, four storage lockers empty. Yeah. By the end of January. Oh, no way. Oh. Jeez. Well, if he wants to sell some stuff, I can come by and see what's there. Okay, I'll give you a call, Adam. Only <laughs> <laughs> in January 30. 30. There's a, lot of, there's, I go. there's a lot of personal stuff in there he's got to get rid of too, like tools and stuff I can't sell. I told him like junk it, junk it. Like we went through stuff. Oh, but, hang uh, on. I hang on. Go back. That's where I can come in. Yeah, okay. I'll, 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 call you, Scotty. I'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all vintage stuff. All right, Adam, your turn, bud. So this one I got at the Waterford Antique Market. It's like my new honey hole. I gotta meet you there, uh, Adam, on a Saturday morning. Yeah. We go, That's go. So here is the price tag, but of course it's a uh, pen written, so I could just do it myself, right? Thirty nine, thirty nine dollars. It says large planters peanut jar. And, oh, I like that. And look at the it's five cents peanuts. What year is that? Nineteen thirties, and has the the lid with the peanut. Wow! So it's huge. So they. I, when I was looking this up, I found one quickly on Etsy that sold for two hundred dollars, but then there is one listed for like two hundred fifty, because the one that sold already sold. You can buy it again. So about two hundred dollar <laughs> item, two fifty. Somebody's asking. There is one also. The Google Lens showed me one for ninety nine dollars on, on eBay. I'm like, hmm, maybe I should leave it because it's a big bulky item. But the one for ninety nine dollars doesn't have that peanut lid. Mm. So this is and the one that sold it says from 1930s. Interesting. And it it's old because it has some bubbles in the glass, so that shows some age. Mm. It's a good sign. Yeah. So, is there anything on the, on the bottom? No, nothing on the bottom. No. No. It just says Mr. Peanut and salted peanuts five cents. Wow. And planters on the top. E even I would, I, I would keep that. I like that. Yeah, my wife liked it when I came in with them. I'm like, oh, she's like, oh, no, 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 this is for sale. <laughs> well, you can keep the jar and just sell the lid probably for 100, 150 bucks. I don't want to keep the jar. I don't have, I want to sell it. <laughs> don't say that. The wife's listening. <laughs> uh, I can buy her a jar at Walmart, <laughs> the same size. I used to feel like Tommy was hardwired into my head, meaning. If I was there, he was too. I'm not sure what that means. I, is that a conversation they're having? I'm not sure. Good Lord, woman, you don't need <laughs> me in your head. Okay, they're having a conversation. Okay. Oh, uh, the peanut lid makes it worth twice. For sure, yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. Very cool. And, and actually, this was there for like two weeks. And I saw it last week and I'm mm, kind of big. I don't have that much room. But this yesterday there was like a sales frenzy. I sold so much big big stuff, like big items. I have like a whole pallet shipping out tomorrow. So I, there is more room in my room now. So I'm like, yeah, now is time to get it. 
Might lots of collectors. Couple weeks. Lots of collectors out there yeah, for later peanut stuff. Yeah, it, it, I think it's gonna go quick. <sighs> yeah, right. Peanut collectors just co only collect peanuts, peanut advertising, and peanut items. So, am I blurry again? It's showing a weak signal. No, you're fine. So I guess it's my turn for the last my last thing here, mm -hmm. and this is out of the fireman's thing too. I got the duck calls and everything. Just a nice mm -hmm. little pellet gun. Wow, but like that. It, it's made in Russia. What's the brand? It's one of the best there. They make them Czechoslovakia and Russia. They made good pellet guns. Oh, it's the crank one. You crank it down. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Is mm -hmm. there a model number? Oh, there is something. I cannot read it though. Hard to see. Go back a little bit. Go back a bit. Go back. Uh, it's still hard to see. It w it will focus. What's it say? Just read it to us. Well, it's made in USSR. Oh, okay, I, see I see USSR. USSR. Yeah, I see and there oh. it goes. Oh, I don't know what that's. It's hard to see. Are that stuff? Are these stuff? Yeah, stuff? something like that. And yeah. there's a serial number. So. Oh, very cool. Did you look it up? But this is kind of neat. And you have to pull this little lever. Yeah. I've not, I've not seen that before. Yeah, you hand pump it. No, but there's a little, like, a lo safety lock safety. here. Yeah. yeah. But you crank it like that? Like, you move it down and pull yeah, it back Yeah, but it won't, it won't until you push this lever down. How far does it go down when you do that? Yeah, that, so yeah, yeah. I've seen those before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they do it. Yeah. But it's this it's this little lever here that I've not seen before. Because usually you just crank them, no problem. But that little lever, you have to push that down. And to get it activated. It. Mm -hmm. What year is it, you think? I don't know. It's probably... 70s? 70s, or I was thinking, I was going to say 80s, but 70s, 80s. It's got, it's got a good kick. It's working. Oh, yeah, works good. But I might keep it. I wish it had a little scope on it just to make it look. What's well, at the end? Scopes of the Nate on the nose. Yeah, but there's a little slot here you can put a nice scope there. Oh, okay. Just, just for cut, just to look yeah. cool. It's not going to do anything. It's just a pellet gun, but you still sell, but, man. Oh yeah, for sure. No, I like it. I'm glad. I'm glad it was there. But again, out of the fireman's house. And uh, so there is the same brand, but just a pistol I found for 200 bucks. A pistol, wow, for 200. Eh? Is, is this like wow. a Baikal, right? Baikal, yeah, that's that, that, that would be it. Some people say Rikal because they cannot read what it says. Recal, it's Baikal by B, okay, with a B, right. I'm just finding like online auctions listing that sold for cheaper. You asking me easily? Yes, I screwed up. My Jeep was pa left old boy behind. Kill oh. So they're talking. Cool gun. Thanks, Grouchy. Yeah, it was. I mean, I got a couple of lockers I could show. Like, there's. I mean, I can't bring them down here, but. Um, there was so much stuff in there too. Like it was. It was wow. just. It was a good pick. Cold here too, but dry. Yeah, it's sure. cold tonight here. A little bit, yeah. uh, northern west, there's lots of snow. Is that a gamble? No, it's a. It started with a B. Whatever. Baikal. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Russia is still using them in the war. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Tommy, that was that was probably one of your best best jokes there. Mm. Other than it was stage show, of course. Well, that joke dry, is just epic. What's that? Epic joke. The state show. <laughs> uh, Carl's not in here tonight. Uh, Marie was 35 here today. Beam and do well. I'll definitely keep... And the, those are both German names. Or, sorry, Russian names. Never seen the lever either. Yeah, i never seen it. It looks like uh, my... Stav Stavia from the 80s. Slava. Oh, bring that up. Slava. Okay. I'm looking on a little 
screen here, so sometimes my eyes aren't that good. Uh, Cause fall, had too much whiskey, passed out. Okay, so they're, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Great for squirrels. Yeah, so if we go into uh, Armageddon, I'll have lots of squirrel meat. Hmm. For sure. That's cool for Glenn. Okay, so we got lots of comments here. Snow and throw away the winter clothes. Okay, dry. All right. And Tommy's here. Carl has been writing letters to YouTube all day about authentication of these buys. Wow. No doubt. Oh, no, no doubt. All right. Anything else, guys? No. Good. Yeah. Right. Just busy. We're a ton, of, ton to ship tomorrow, just like Adam. I already That's shipped up. everything. Everything's packed. Oh, yeah. I, got just, I had no time today. I did it tomorrow. yesterday, most of them. So I got uh today was a actually today was a good day. It was uh eight fifty today. That's a good day. That's a That's good a Sunday. Good and, and we still got time. It's only quarter after nine, right? Yeah. So uh we'll see what happens the rest of the night. And uh, yeah, so a lot of stuff. I got so much stuff to, to list. I got to deal with. The thing is, when you get a little honey hole like I have now, you put your other stuff on the back burner. But you need to also uh, pay attention to the back burner stuff. Yeah, there's only so much time. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so much time problem. in the day. Yeah, that's the problem. So Things but keep heading south. Squirrels, yeah. Squirrel meat. Hey, go on uh, YouTube. Ton of guys eat squirrel. Oh, I yeah. don't eat any meat. <laughs> no. Cabbage Rabbit, and some squirrel. <laughs> they eat it all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ain't, ain't gonna? Is that, no. Mm. Um, oh, I, I don't even know what I was going to say here. I have so, no idea. I don't know. Anyway. No, uh, thanks so much for... Oh, here we go. Squirrel meat breakfast of champions. Oh, thrifty for sure, for sure. Well, it's good to see thrift beasts here. Yeah. Um. So, what's on the agenda for the week? Anything planned out, guys? Picking, picking, and picking. It's uh, yeah. American Thanksgiving soon. You need to get stuff listed, Scotty. It's going to be. Oh, it's gonna be I, busy. I, I got. We got planned. We got it all planned out. We know what yeah. we're doing. Uh. No, the right now, right now the booth is, uh, you know, is doing Good very well. So. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, yep. and it's just, it's just we're just throwing things in there, but uh, yeah, no problem. And uh, save a squirrel, eat a beaver. And there you go. Yeah. Well, on on that note, Grouchy, I think the show has to end. <laughs> like that's we're just leaving. that's the comment of the night. That's a perfect ending to this. <laughs> we're over. It's done. So. Not for kids. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys, for uh, coming and showing your stuff tonight. Look forward to next week. Adam, did you say what you're doing this week? I'm selling stuff. Selling stuff? Well, then and good shipping. For you, selling and shipping. Shelling totally and shipping. Wrong. Yeah. Uh, that's my okay. goal. Does, not sure what to say. That's, that's Make okay. money, Adam. Make money. That's what we're here for, right? I have everything listed already. Maybe like two items need to be listed, but that quick things. Yeah, everything just sell and ship, sell and ship. That's it. Good for you. All right. All yeah, right. Have press. a good night, Thrift Beast. Everyone else, yeah. uh, have a great week, everyone. You as well, Marie. Thank you. Later, yeah. guys. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for coming on, Mike. Thanks, Swamp. Being first and being last. That's, uh, that's how it has that's to work. That's awesome. That's yeah. what. And, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll leave. Well, okay. Hang on. There we go. There we Laughter go. Is the, it's good to, to can't laugh. stop laughing. That's awesome. Now we'll leave it at Swamp. There we are. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, next like Sunday, the video. PM. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> so now, good. Next Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard yep. Time. We're here every Sunday at that time, and we'll we'll see you next week.